Hi everyone, welcome back to Macro in Two Minutes. Recently, major stock indices around the world have all reached record highs, including in the US, Japan, and Europe. When stock markets are in a rally, it's wise to do a temperature check on market sentiment to monitor for downside risks. So how do we gauge sentiment on a global scale? Apart from the famous CNN Fear and Greed Index, let's explore another useful indicator, the percentage of global stock indices performing above their 200-day moving average. But first, let's look at why investor sentiment matters. Sentiment plays a pivotal role in shaping market dynamics, as broad sentiment trends can disconnect stock prices from their underlying value, pushing them higher or lower than they should be. So essentially, our featured indicator today tells us how many major stock markets around the world are doing better than their average price over the past 200 days. Compiled by Macromicro, this indicator tracks the performance of major stock indices in over 40 countries. A high percentage means stock markets in most countries are trending upwards, signaling heightened market optimism. But when the percentage reaches 80% or even surpasses 90%, it's time to be aware of exuberant bullishness, which often precedes market corrections, as valuations may become overstretched beyond their fundamental justifications, leading to a situation where any negative news or shifting sentiment can trigger a sell-off. Conversely, a dwindling percentage reflects pessimism and risk aversion among investors, when the percentage hits a new low or gets closer to 0%, it typically signifies widespread or excessive pessimism, suggesting market declines might be bottoming out. Such periods may also present good buying opportunities. So while fundamentals drive long-term trends, sentiment can guide short-term fluctuations. When assessing global equity trends, the percentage of global stock indices above their 200-day moving average is a great barometer for the sentiment aspect. To monitor for short-term correction risks, this is the indicator to watch. For more details and the full article, visit our website. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.